So quite a bit of watches, warnings, and advisories in effect for most of the northern parts of the state. And they're going to be in effect for tonight and into tomorrow. For us here in the Concho Valley, we have a few as well. The first one, we're looking at Sterling and Robert Lee. That's the winter storm warning in effect till Wednesday, 7 o'clock in the morning. So they're going to see a little bit more of that wintry mix, of course, with the rain, some sleet, the possibility of some snow. You want to be careful of those bridges, those elevated roadways, some of the trees as well, and some power lines. What else we're seeing with ours is the winter weather advisory. So what that is, is seeing a little bit less, again, until Wednesday, 7 o'clock in the morning, because we'll have a lull in the rain and mix in our late afternoon Tuesday when we get just above freezing. We'll see it come back Wednesday morning. That's including most of Tom Green County out towards Concho County, Erie County, and further north. So that is going to see some of that wintry accumulation. But for tonight, a lot of the Concho Valley is under the freeze warning. And that is in effect from now till Tuesday. So it is going to be getting below freezing. If you have any plants that you have to take care of, any animals outside, or even any pipes that are possibly going to be exposed to this, you'll want to watch out because our temperatures are going to be getting to that very cold below freezing for most of us. Right now, we're staying dry. We're going to see the rain chances and the mix coming back early in our morning, and we'll see our temperatures actually being below 30s. It sat like that all day today, 36 right now in downtown San Angelo. It has felt a lot colder. Not much change. We see a few 40s out towards Junction and Mason. Since they've been staying a little bit warm as we go into tonight, we'll see them see a little bit of rain. So further south, they're seeing more of the rain chances. Further north towards Robert Lee and Sterling City, they'll see that mix. Now with winds from the north being about 10 to 15 miles per hour, it feels like it's in the 20s. 23 is what it feels like. Robert Lee, Coleman also feeling like 23 here in San Angelo, 27. So a very cold day out there today and going to continue for tonight. Most of it for that rain and that mix is going to be when a lot of us are asleep. But what we have to worry about is it takes its time to warm up and get above freezing. We do get to 38 for tomorrow and that'll be when we have that break from those rain chances. So looking at very early four o'clock in the morning, we're seeing out towards Ballinger, Sterling towards 20, seeing this mix, the rain, the sleet, the snow in there. Even in Tom Green, a few areas like the southern part, seeing a mix, seeing some rain coming over towards Paint Rock for them. Further south, they'll be a little bit on the warmer side, just above freezing, so that's why they'll see more rain for them. But then early, 9 o'clock in the morning, when a lot of people are getting ready for work or school, we'll see again still of that mix, seeing a little bit more over San Angelo, more in Erie County as well, Sterling quite a bit. And even as we go into Concho over Paint Rock, you got that mix of rain and sleet coming in for them, Ballinger and Coleman. So it is all staying mostly in the north. Then we get a break later in our day on Tuesday. No more rain chances, no more mix. And we do get above freezing before we have another round come in early in the morning on Wednesday, seeing more staying north and a lot of it being more rain because we're going to see slowly going to be warming up as that low pressure that is causing all of this moves out east. We're going to get some winds to come back from the south, slowly going to be warming us up for Friday and into the weekend. Going to start to see some low 60s coming back. And then for Halloween, of course, it's going to be in the low 70s. And actually fairly nice when we see that kind of keep us on the cool side, see a little bit of a switch of some north winds coming back on Sunday, getting us into the mid 60s again. But it is going to be nice and cool, not as cold as we saw today, tonight, into tomorrow, and into Wednesday. And Along with these rain chances, of course, we have Hurricane Zeta is going to be again making landfall towards Louisiana and bringing rain chances for the south, not affecting us. So we don't have to worry about any more rain chances with that. What we're watching tonight, again, getting below freezing, want to take care of anything outside that is going to be affected by that. And of course, we'll be having all the delays on Contra Valley homepage if you need any of those because it is going to be a cold, rainy, wintry mix to start out your Tuesday.